Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the first oil change on the GT350R. Um, haven't got this on video yet, so we'll get all the steps down for you. This is the 2016 model, so it still has the spin-on filter. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the tools that you need for the job. All right guys, so here's the tools that we need to get this job done. Um, we need the uh, ratchet with the extension. Um, we have our uh, torque wrench here. And this is the uh, official um, oil filter wrench for the uh, 2016 and some of the early 2017s that take the uh, spin-on filter. So that's a FL2069ST. And then we've got 10 quarts of this crazy expensive 550 full synthetic. So it's about the same price to get the Motorcraft versus Mobile One. I'm a Mobile One guy typically, but we just went ahead with the, the Motorcraft for this time. Um, so let's get to it. All right, a couple extra tools that I didn't have at the beginning. You need a 7-8 socket. That's to go on the end of the uh, GT350 um, oil filter cap wrench. So if you have a different style, you probably won't need that. But for me, I need that. And then a T30, a Torx 30. You need that to get the uh, oil, plastic oil door off. So we will uh, use that here in a few minutes. Okay, here's the little oil door that we're going to take off quick. The T30. Looks like that under tray collects some rocks, man. It's a little dirty. Rock collector. What do we got there? Some weird sheet metal screw. So, we'll let's take a peek up in here. Show you guys what we got. Show. Right there. Through that door is where the uh, spin on oil filter is. So. We shall see how difficult that's going to be to get out. All right, guys, so this is my first time using this kind of drain plug. It's just a little plastic guy, but I think it's going to fly out really quick. So we just use the extension. Oh, we don't want that. Don't fly out yet. Get that out of the way. And if you watched my previous oil change videos, you know, I don't always put this in the right spot, so hopefully it doesn't go too crazy out this way. Well, let's find out. And that's quite the oil drain plug, so <laughs> you guys ready for a mess? in the right place amazing hopefully my drain pan can hold 10 quarts because there's a lot of oil coming out of that bad boy if it doesn't all go in there we're gonna have a mess oh man yeah that thing's gonna be full Probably it's max capacity at this 10 quarts. So make sure you got a big oil pan, oil drain pan. Okay, it's down to a little drip, so we're gonna pop this guy back in. Just like that. That's the easiest drain plug I've ever had to deal with, guys. You don't have to worry about torque on that sucker. Too bad we didn't have to worry about that on the oil filter because, as you all know, they changed this oil filter to the cartridge style because of the vibrations from the flat plank crank. So, yeah, we just definitely got to make sure we torque that thing down to the 25 foot pounds. This says 18 to 25, but we're going to the 25 for sure. So, let's get the oil filter off. All right, guys, we got my. oil filter wrench on there. I'm just going to show you guys how I'm getting this started here with the ratchet. And it's definitely on there, so whoever did the last oil change, I think, 
torqued it properly. So it's starting to come loose. So I am going to move you guys and bring in my oil pan. How big a mess this makes. We didn't make as big a mess as we did with the Bronco oil change. So I'll get this oil cleaned up here and then we'll start getting ready to put the uh, new filter back on. Okay guys, got a little bead of oil on there. We're going to get this spun on hand tight. And it is, I think I might have said 25 foot pounds. That's 22 to 24 Newton meters. And then it's 16 to 18 foot pounds. Um, so I have an inch pound uh, torque wrench here. So that's like 216 inch pounds that I've got it set to. So we're going to put my 7 eighths on here. And I must have left. Supposedly that's the, the right torque, guys. I don't know. It's kind of nerve-wracking hearing all those stories. Well, I think we'll check our torque on the wrench one more time. Make sure we're at the right level and torque it one more time and call her good. guys we got the oil changed new oils in um, I saw this on another YouTube video of priming doing an oil prime especially with uh, new oil or if your car has been sitting a long time so you can uh, put your uh, foot on the gas all the way to the floor then the clutch and then hit the start button it won't start for a few seconds
and basically that primed the, uh, the oil pump. So now uh, we can go ahead and fire it up and we're gonna reset that oil change light there. All right, so we're gonna go okay on that. Please say a command. Well, we don't want that. Okay over here. To uh, go into our menus here. Oh, get back there. Settings. Vehicle. Oil life reset. Right there. Okay. Percent oil life. Zero percent. Hold to reset. So we're holding the okay button. There we go. We got 100 percent oil life. So we're good to go for another uh, oil change interval but uh, basically uh, we've got all the oil change done now um, I'm gonna go take it for a drive get it warmed up um, per the uh, the owner's manual um, when you check the oil level you're supposed to have it on level ground and uh, shut the engine off and let it sit for 15 minutes before you check it so that's per Ford so we will uh, take it for a drive and then uh, check the oil level and we'll be all set so Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Uh, if this helped you out with doing an oil change on your GT350, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next video.